Well, let me get this straight, Ravens. Y'all been holding secret interviews for the offensive coordinator position? Y'all really been doing that? I mean, look, if that's the case, please let me know. Let's set up a time, a place. We could do it via Zoom. I don't mind flying up there. If y'all want to come down here to Florida, that's fine, too. But let me know so I can put in my application. But anyway, YouTube, team keep it clean. We got some candidates that... I had no clue what even candidates, and they already done had their second interview. Our guy, Jeff Zrebic from The Athletic, uh, he posted this in an article. Uh, he said, um, he did talk about how the Ravens, uh, they may be waiting because Harbaugh still has interest in potentially speaking with members of the Philadelphia Eagles and Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, so I would assume that would be the Eagles QB coach uh, and with the Chiefs, Eric Bieniemy. Uh, but we won't really know till we know. Hopefully, we will get an opportunity to know. But anyway, uh, this is the part that got me. He said, this is what we know about the situation. Based on talking to sources involved with the process, Harbaugh has already had second interviews in Baltimore with three candidates after the first interviews were done via video call. Those three candidates are University of Georgia offensive coordinator, Todd Munkin. So that's one that we knew about. That's one that we've heard about consistently. Uh, and we've heard that he is actually a finalist. Also, Minnesota Vikings pass game coordinator and tight ends coach Brian uh, Angelich, Angelichio. I know I'm saying his last name wrong, so I'm going to just call him Brian A. So, um, Brian A, pass game coordinator and tight ends coach for the Vikings. Now, that one, I don't, I'm not sure if I heard about him or not. I, I do not remember in full, but that's, so it's news to me. And again, not only did has he had his first interview, but he already done had his second interview too. So Ravens, they moving, they moving. And then, but th this was the kicker right here. This is the one that got me like, really? a second interview? Like, don't y'all know him already? Uh, and, for, and former Ravens wide receivers and tight ends coach and Wisconsin offensive coordinator, Bobby Ingram. So that one, Bobby Ingram. Um, he was obviously on Raven staff before And like they did mention He used to be their Titans coach Their wide receiver coach Used to play wide receiver for the Seattle Seahawks And I remember watching him play for the Seattle Seahawks Wow, that makes you feel kind of old But anyway um, Bobby Ingram as, And they had a second interview So they really like Hey, hey Bobby Now this with, with him I feel like This would not be my choice only because, yeah, he's technically in Wisconsin. He's an offensive coordinator over there. But I feel like this would really be an inside hire. It, this, this would be an inside guy. This would not, I, my preference, this is just me. Maybe some of y'all too, I don't know. But my preference is that they bring somebody from the outside and bring them in. Um, because, and I, and I know as, as long as Harbaugh is still the, the head coach, then a lot of the philosophy is going to stay the same. I, I, I get that and I have accepted it um, I would hope that they change some stuff I really do I really, 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 really do But we'll see um, But I, I feel like there would be a greater chance uh, of success or Not even just of success But a greater chance of just updating stuff If it was somebody that came from the outside in And not somebody that was on the inside already and has been on the inside for a while now. And again, I know he's at Wisconsin, so technically he's an outside high, but that's pretty much an inside guy. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't even know they even had one interview with him, let alone two. So there is got to be significant interest because again, this is not this is not the time to waste time. This is not the time to be like, okay, you 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 you. you. I mean, you want to cast the net far and wide, like you said, but. Um, you're not bringing in somebody for a second interview for nothing. Uh, and I know we've, um, we had heard about the Ravens possibly being interested in, in their own guys like a uh, James Urban, um, like a T. Martin. And again, my, my preference is still somebody from the outside. Now, granted, with T. Martin, um, he does have play calling experience. And one thing, like if they went with T. Martin, I wouldn't be surprised if they did hire somebody from within because that's what Ravens like to do. Uh, they like to hire guys from within. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like with Mike McDonald, he was pretty much an inside hire because he had been with the Ravens for years and years and years and years and years. Uh, went to um, Michigan for a year. Oh, I'm a defensive coordinator over here. Okay, hey, we like what you did over there. Come on back, buddy. We miss you. John Harbaugh was sending him postcards and stuff. He was sending his brother text messages like, hey, tell Mike McDonald I said what's up. And boom, now he's back. And, and he did all right this first year. 
Had a little hiccups here and there. Had some little late game collapses here and there. But hey, he, he did all right. So um, but there's sometimes when it doesn't work out. Uh, but with T. Martin, um, the thing with him is that yeah, he is technically right now an inside guy. Um, and if they went with him, the thing that I would like about him, uh, if they went that route, is that he doesn't have NFL film. You can't look at his offenses from the NFL and be like, oh, that's what he likes to do. Oh, that's his uh, that's his style. You could look at stuff from college, but NFL is a whole different ball game. So I feel like there could be some fresh pers- perspective there. And I do still think, because we said this back when he interviewed for the Bills job, but I, I do still think that they may have told him, like, hey, stick around, man. Stick around. Hey, Greg Roman, um, I don't know how long it's going to be with him, but he only got a couple years left. So stick around. He may have an opportunity here. You never know how things could work out. So I, I don't know, though. We'll never know. Um, well, we might if he gets hired, but... Um, but yeah, basically, I wouldn't be surprised if the Ravens ended up uh, going from or uh, hiring from within. Um, but there were also some more some more guys that Jeff highlighted that we have known about and we have talked about. Uh, he said at least two more candidates are expected in town uh, Monday and Tuesday, uh, and that's Seattle Seahawks quarterbacks coach Dave Canales and Denver Broncos offensive coordinator Justin Outen. So, and those are the guys that have, that we heard were uh, finalists for this job. Uh, we heard that it was Munkin, Canales, and Justin Alton. Uh, but the other guys, as far as, uh, again, Minnesota Vikings pass game coordinator, Brian A., again, I ain't messing up his last name again. That was rough. Um, that's news to me. And, of course, uh, Bobby Ingram. So it's interesting. It's interesting how, how the Ravens are going to do this. Um, and if they are going to be patient enough, like I, I think it is going to be uh, a domino effect. I, I really do. Because it's other teams that have vacancies at offensive coordinator, even head coach too, um, that could pull from some of the guys that the Ravens may be interested in. Now, um, Jeff also talked about uh, some guys that they have interviewed once. Um, he said tight ends coach George Godsey uh, and quarterbacks coach James Urban. So those are internal guys who are already with the Ravens. Uh, he said that external candidates have been Buffalo Bills wide receiver coach Chad Hall. So we did hear about that. Um, former Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive coordinator Byron Leftwich, so we did hear about that one. Um, at University of Akron, hey, shout out to LeBron. Maybe LeBron, he, he could recruit LeBron to come play like tight end or wide receiver. So anyway, University of Akron head coach uh, Joe Moorhead. Uh, that one I think I heard about. Uh, but former Dallas Cowboys quarterbacks coach Doug uh, Nesmeyer. Now, I had not heard about that one at all. I hadn't heard about anything from the Cowboys at all. I heard, uh, I remember when Kellen Moore when he got released, and there was some Ravens fan, hey, what about him? And I was thinking, uh, no. Like, yeah, we see Cowboys offense overall, but you see their situational play calling, especially when, every, when everything's on the line. It's like they pull out the worst stuff. We don't need no more of that. We done had enough of that. We don't need that because we, we've been seeing the Ravens pull out some of the worst stuff in the worst situations. Not even when a game is on the line, but leading up to the game being on the line, it's like the Ravens put the game on the line when they could have put the game away, but they do stuff poorly, they do poor stuff situationally, so we get put in these bad situations. We don't need no more of that. We, we don't need clutch time being bad. We don't. So I, I was not a fan of the Ravens hiring Kellen Moore. I know some people were, but he got a job like he was out of the Cowboys. As soon as he stepped foot in fresh air, he had a job right away. So happy for him, but yeah, I ain't want the Ravens to get him. Uh, Cleveland Browns wide receiver coach uh, and pass game coordinator Chad O'Shea. We heard a little bit about that one. Uh, and Los Angeles Rams pass game coordinator and QB coach Zach Robinson. So, yeah, that's another one that we had heard about. I think that was the first one. That was the very first one that we heard about. Um, so, yeah, the search goes on. The search continues. Uh, but there's one guy um, that the Ravens have not interviewed that I think – uh, I think he deserves a shot. I really do. Um, the guy has been, he's been in tune with the Ravens for years, uh, in tune with some guys, that are some of their personnel, um, in tune with the way that they do things. And he like, he, he got this vision for the Ravens that he wants to really, really make it happen. Um, and he got some, some, some good ideas, some great ideas, as a matter of fact, that he would implement with this offense to just really help it excel. Um, and just, I think they should really give him a shot. That's me.